The Protocol on Water and Health is the first and only international agreement on water sanitation and health. It was developed in the pan-European region to ensure that all people have access to safe drinking water and adequate sanitation through sustainable water management. Effectively, it is a precursor to Sustainable Development Goal 6. By joining the protocol, countries commit themselves to achieve these objectives and help each other by exchanging experience and knowledge. By setting their own national water, sanitation and health targets, countries reflect their specific needs, priorities and capacities. For example, a country can set the target to half the amount of untreated wastewater or decide that the drinking water from a well in a village must have the same quality as from a tap in a city. Or to set targets on the remediation of polluted sites contaminating water. Countries can also align their targets with the water sanitation and hygiene targets of the Sustainable Development Goals. Parties to the protocol also commit to reporting on their progress. Did you realise that 21 million people in the region do not have access to basic sources of drinking water and there are 36 million people who cannot use safe toilets? That is 1 in 25 people. Can you imagine that in the pan-European region 14 people still die of diarrhoea every day caused by poor water, sanitation and hygiene. To improve this situation, protocol parties are active in preventing risks to health and the environment from water supply and sanitation systems, promoting the human rights to water and to sanitation, strengthening resilience to the effects of climate change, and improving water supply, sanitation and hygiene in schools and hospitals. The Protocol on Water and Health provides a platform to bring together many different sectors to work together at both national and international levels. There are many ways to get involved. Take steps to join the protocol, if not yet a party. Ask your protocol focal point about national targets and progress with implementation. Implement protocol activities to advance your priority areas of work. Express concerns to the Compliance Committee and get support for implementation. And organise events or provide information to promote the protocol. Get involved. Make water and health a priority for all.